But it's also been kind of an SNL Academy. Today I just wanna dive in on something that I saw. It was posted by someone. It's at Mr. Black OG. Please do show him some love if you are on Twitter and please do follow him. Eh? So this thing I actually find it funny and at the same time I think it was an opportunity for me to just dive in and also give something that could be educational and also that could be useful by some people out there based on the comments that I saw. Eh? So the guy basically said Elon Musk has 180 billion US dollars. So if he has to give a billion US dollars to one person on the earth, he will be left with 172 billion US dollars. So I'm not sure if he mathematic was mathematic him, but anyways, I just found it funny because there is another side of the coin that I think a lot of people do not understand and based on the comments that I saw, I saw a lot of hate and I saw a lot of people who didn't actually understand like what does it mean if he has so much of money or any other wealthy person there, you know. So now there's something called a net worth guys. Eh? So basically in a net worth, eh, you will have things that are making up your net worth. So basically it's like you have a, bas a basket. Eh? In your basket, you will have books, you will have pens, you have a PC, you have rubric, you have so much of stuff in one bucket. Right? So all of those things put together, they make up your net worth. So when they tell you about these wealthy people or rich people on Forbes, right? and they say they have so much of money, they have maybe a hundred million US dollars, they have half a billion and so on and so forth. Uh, even in our case here in South Africa, we have one of the wealthy guys, it will be uh, Petrus Motev or people like oh, Abu Rupert and so on and so forth. And we have the wealthiest guy in the African continent from Nigeria, which is Ali Gupta Martini. So they don't actually mean on Forbes that guy have that hardcore cash stashed in the bank or in a safe. Ne? So we're just going to go through Elon and then I'm just going to take you through his network so you guys can understand what they actually mean. So now, uh, you must understand that Elon have money that is that, that is actually, you know, uh, diversified in a lot of things. Isn't it? He founded companies like Tesla, Tesla, that is making electric cars, Neuralink, that is actually planning to put a chip in your head to make you a little bit smart. And also, they have a boring company. With a boring company, I'm not sure exactly what they are up to and what they are doing. And you know he's on a mission to go to Mars. We all know that. Right? So now also the guy owns stakes in companies like I did say. So he might be owning, owning, owning shares from people, owning shares from this company and that company. And obviously from his company, he will be owning shares because obviously, for obvious reasons, it's his company. Right? So all these things put together, that's what makes the net worth of Elon Musk. So now if we say, because he has so much of net worth, then he must give each and every individual on at a billion US dollars and then this is how much he must will be left with. Right? You have to understand, he needs to sell these things. That basically means he needs to sell his business in order for him to give us this money. So now if you look at it with an open mind and also as a person who is interested in finance and investing, you will realize it's not possible, guys, for wealthy people to just give us money for the sake of just helping us to be up there. And besides, you know, that is not how the law of nature works. We cannot be equal, otherwise we will have a lot of problems that we currently have. So it's better the way it is, but the only thing that could be done it's for us to try and help each other to eradicate poverty so we will not have people going to bed without a simple thing even a basic human right which is food so that i am for but just giving people a billion ah no guys man cut me a break man i'm not doing that man. i'm working very hard to see myself one day making good money and also being able to be in a position to be financially free but I am not just going to hand it over to some people simply because I'm saying ah, I have so much of money, you know. Obviously, you can donate, obviously, you can contribute to uplift your community and people around yourself, but it does not mean whether you must just be the gift of the givers. You know what they say about the people who give ne? and the people who take. Ne? The people who take have no limit. They have no limit. Ne? And then another very important point 
that I like to touch on, since Elon is a South African, maybe I can come with an idea and say, okay, please give us, you know, 10% of your net worth of that 180 billion, which is basically going to be 18 billion. Please do forgive me with my mathematics. I wasn't good in math. So it's not going to happen now. I'm too old for it. Né? So 10% will be 18 billion. And based on my calculations, uh, since South Africa is a population of 60 million people, that basically means $300 for each and every South African. And then basically in our South African rent, that could be 5760 It's just basically close to 5800 to each and every individual. Né? Remember, we have alcoholics. Remember, we have drug addicts. Remember, we have homeless people. So if you give this man to an alcoholic, we all know what they're going to do. They're not going to start going to church and becoming a poor. They're just going to drink this man. So what he use? Né? So otherwise, last but not least, I just want to touch on comments. Né? I saw a lot of hate and I saw actually a lot of people who didn't understand you know, the tweets. I'm not sure the guy who posted if it was just uh, a joke or maybe it was just in the mood, in a good mood, so he just started, I just must just tweet that, or maybe he literally meant what he said, you know. But otherwise, on the comment section, I did realize that a lot of people did not understand and that's what what is this, yeah? So, again, like I did tell you guys, people who have those network, it's not money just sitting in the bank, it's not money in a safe. It's a lot of things that they own that contribute to them to have that network. You know? So for them to give us money, that means they have to sell these businesses. So now, who did work so hard in their life creating a business, you know? just to have it sold simply because you want to donate a billion rand or five thousand rand to people? No, it's not gonna happen, guys. Let us be serious, you know? But otherwise, I hope the video you find it informative. If you do like it, do just drop me a comment, just tell me what you think. And also I would appreciate guys if you give me that like, share, and also subscribe to the channel if you do watch it for the first time. And also do come around next time if you find the things that we are discussing interesting. But anyways, I expect everyone to find what we are discussing interesting because we are speaking about money, investing, and also having financial freedom. So any adult with a sober mind, I believe they would want to have this. Né? Otherwise, it's Mbana. Don't forget, guys, we always tell you to end, invest, and spend your money. Né?